upon me. You are invited to me. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. These attendants you keep, you taught them well. My child, my laser. Chma Zala Vlaketh, you know me. Erlon of Kalir speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend? Or are you thief? is yet to be witnessed. A test, then, to see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped. Broken. A blight! They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Enlithid Empire! As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this. I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this and ascend! Ascension? My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. You must accept. Refuse, and you will know my fury. to the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. You will not leave this room until it is done. Shma Zalav Lakith. We will not waste a second.
don't mind if I do. Open up. Is this it? Seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic. starts to rotate, oh, but its rusty it's mechanism shot. jams Terrible. stuck. Eager for battle. The statue starts stuck. to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Long way from water deep. The statue Hard. starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. No use. Won't budge. And well, in it. The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. <laughs> Nearly had it. The statue starts to rotate. But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Time to get going. Don't do it. A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold. A pocket of astral plane. Boundless. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Maybe 
me out of your bow pockets. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. Only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. By all means, carry on. I'll come running if you need me. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. 
Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Very well. What do you want to know? Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Lakith will be furious, to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Lakith is lying to the Githyanki. They believe she knows how their beloved mother Gith defeated the Mind Flayer Empire. But she does not. If the Illithids would ever rise to power again, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. I did warn you not to come here. But that curious streak of yours has brought us this far. I believe you will overcome this too. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire Kresh stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. What happened in there? Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Vlakith does not lie to her faithful. Open. Show me. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlakith Tafkinazin. I see only. only madness. Vlakith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. Skvar! We are leaving this place now.
I'm glad you came to your senses. Now leave, before the others come for us. dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Positioning. Is that blood? No, never mind. I've noted your growing obsession with me. You favor me above Shadowheart. I suppose I should be flattered. And I am, to be truthful. I am Lazelle of Kalir, born of Mother Gith, an enviable specimen even among my people. Of course you crave me, just as I crave you. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less, though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process, a favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Go on then. She tests me. A trial of faith. 
Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. I must think. I need to find a way forward. Vonash do. I thought I'd seen the whole of you. Mighty as Tiamat's dragons, monumental as the one in the void. But now, I see more in you still. You are iron and steel, yes. But you are also silk and satin. Soon, I would know you again. Not to claw you, but to caress you. Not to be burned in your heat, but to be bathed in your warmth. As have I. Truthfully, it took more courage to ask for a soft touch than it would to meet the gaze of the Ninefold Dragon. Thus far, I've taunted you, devoured you, battled you. Now, I want more than anything to soothe you. What's up for discussion? Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. Impossible. Thy party is full.
Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakit sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazar. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected, yet the one in the prism has chosen you, protects you with their power. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. Gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. 
Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Vlakith cost seven hrath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Chuk, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, 
Do not keep me waiting. Actually venturing into a gith stronghold again voluntarily this had better pay off true her acting out of desperation let's just be careful any potential cure is useless if our heads are parted from our shoulders beforehand they must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. You'll have to live with that curiosity for now, I'm afraid. Let's just concentrate on ridding ourselves of these tadpoles. All will be revealed in due time, I hope. So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh... I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. Let's go, go, go. I'd love to, thanks. ahead. Still alive, so that's progress. No one back home will ever believe this.
moving ahead. Got to press on. Let's see what we have here. 